Welcome back and joining us on the show now is Anuj Gupta. He's head of commodities and currencies at HDFC Securities. Anuj, hi, good to have you. I'll start with metals first. And uh, the previous week was not so good. When you look at the month of October overall, most of the metals seem to be headed into a negative move there. The, the strength in U.S. dollar has been yet another reason for that. But the hopes that a China stimulus will come in keep supporting the price as time and again. How do you look at the overall sector and the macro impact? Uh, Mr. Good afternoon. See, um, uh, we are, uh, you know, uh, very, uh, you know, optimistic for the China side because now they are uh, announcing uh, almost uh, uh, one trillion yuan stimulus package uh, for the economy to support uh, infrastructure spending, rebuilding disaster hit areas, and uh, blasting relief capability. So this will impact uh, totally on the demand of the base metal. However, if you see from the from this year, starting of this year, copper prices uh, down by 1.77%, and even zinc price almost corrected by 17%, aluminum price corrected by 1.63%. So all the base metal uh, were corrected in this year, and uh, definitely the, uh, of the eyes of the traders on the stimulus package by the China. And now, uh, I think uh, now they are coming with this uh, stimulus package and this will be you know supportive for the base metal so the demand of base metal will increase definitely uh, even a few days back they have cut some uh, taxes on the house purchasing so that will also impact the demand of the uh, you know the housing so i think uh, uh, the step taken by the china economy will definitely provide the support to the base metals Mm. So as you said, when you look at the prices, we are off the lows, but we are way off the kind of highs that we saw in this year as well. At these current levels for the quarter, what's your sense on how this sector will now close this quarter? Uh, as expected, uh, that the last quarter of this this is calendar year, I think this will be supportive uh, for the uh, uh, you know China, and I think uh, China will bottoming out uh, uh, from the slowdown as economy is now renewing from the lower levels, and the expectation of the China is that the uh, GDP uh, will between 4.5 to 5 percent in 2024. However, uh, the GDP of uh, the China is revamping in last quarter. Uh, to uh, 4.9 percent, so that is the uh, you know initial point of the recovery. So I am expecting that the base metal will recover in the uh, you know in the coming quarter. And uh, from the price perspective, definitely copper prices are trading around almost 700 and 8,000 dollar on a LME. So this is the you know bottoming uh, out of the prices, and uh, uh, we are expecting that the uh, copper price will increase from uh, this level. So these the current levels of zinc, aluminium, and copper are uh, you know very supportive on even on technical charts also prices are on a uh, bottoming out so i am expecting the recovery in the base metal from the current price as well hmm. so uh, what would be your favorite pick within the metal space and what kind of gains and are you expecting if you feel that this is where the bottoming is happening then what are the higher side targets for many of these metals uh, for uh, aluminium perspective, I think uh, aluminium, uh, you know, um, is the, my uh, preferred pick. I think uh, it is trading around 203 on MCX. So uh, I will, uh, you know, preferably buy around 200 levels uh, with the stop loss of 196. And I'm expecting 210 kind of level on MCX. And another, uh, uh, you know, uh, pick is the copper because copper is revamping from 695 from the last week lows. So I think uh, 700 would be the, uh, you know, buying point and 690 would be the stop loss and target I'm expecting 720. And even uh, you know uh, the demand of base metal will increase in domestic as well uh, due to the you know upcoming uh, summer demand. So possibly the last quarter of this calendar year would be the you know positive for the uh, entire base metal pack. Hmm. And would that see uh, some support coming in for silver as well? Because while the gold prices have been inching higher, silver continues to be a bit of an underperformer if you look at the previous quarter. Uh, definitely, uh, as far as concern about the tandem with the gold, silver is uh, not performing. Uh, we have seen that silver is stuck around uh, $23 uh, uh, per ounce and even on MCX, it is stuck around, you know, 70 to 72,000. So, uh, and even we have seen as, uh, you know, sharp jump in gold prices. So now uh, due to the industrial metal or base metal, silver is not uh, moving as per the gold tandem. So uh, still uh, silver is, uh, I think, uh, as per the, uh, you know, the, if, if you compare from the gold, it is not on uh, as per the page of the gold. So I think uh, silver is uh, again, uh, again, uh, will, uh, you know, outperform the gold and uh, the demand of the base metal will increase or precious metal will increase. So definitely silver will outperform. So I'm expecting silver may increase uh, in this quarter also festival demand is there, uh, you know, international market demand is there and even industrial demand is there. So I'm expecting uh, silver will uh, again outperform and it uh, definitely I'm expecting it will uh, break, uh, you know, the $26 per ounce, which is, uh, you know, very strong okay. resistance level for the silver. And uh, till the year end, right. I'm expecting it to be 78,000 kind of level. All right, uh, Hanush, thank you so much for joining in. Thank you, Manisha, for taking us through with this conversation. Just. Uh...